Hello everyone, I'm Ero. Today I would like to demonstrate how to hand paint Gunpla models. So without further ado, let's get to it. The only thing I didn't hand paint was applying primer to the shield I prepared for this demonstration. I'm using Chaos Black Spray from Citadel and just apply one coat of primer. Because Citadel primers are quite thick, one coat is enough to avoid clogging the details. Also, work in a ventilated area and wear a mask while you're using spray cans. This is what the shield looks like after letting the primer dry. Next, I prepare a few things for hand painting. A cup filled with clean water, a wet palette, a clean paper towel, and paints to use. For this demonstration, I will use four water-based acrylic paints to base coat the model. I also prepare some brushes to apply the paints. First, give the paint pot a good shake, which is a lie since in my case, I use paint mixer to thoroughly stir the paint. Using a big brush, I grab some paint from the pot and put them onto the palette. I mix a bit of water into the paint to thin it down, take off the excess onto the palette, and start painting. I use Mechanica Standard Gray to paint the back of the shield. Notice how the first coat doesn't completely cover the color underneath. That's okay since you want to apply multiple thin layers to build up the color. When you paint an area, to avoid brush marks or ugly splotches on the surface, don't go back and move on to the next area. Our acrylic paints dry quite fast, therefore when you apply the paint in one area, the paint is already drying. Once you completely paint one coat, let the paint dry thoroughly before applying the next coat. This is what the first coat looks like. As you can see, the gray paint didn't completely cover the surface, so now I paint on another layer. Notice the paint has much nicer coverage. Normally, two thin coats will be enough, but in my case I let the second coat dry before applying the third coat. With the third coat applied, it gave a very nice coverage and the gray area on the shield is complete. Then I move on to painting the next large surface, the red detail using Mephiston Red. As I mentioned before, once you paint an area, keep moving onto the next area and let the paint dry once when you are done. After a few coats, the red is done and this is what it looks like. Then I move on to paint the white detail using Quarks White and I also base coat the cross in white. Once I painted the white details, then I painted the yellow detail using Gyriol Yellow. Yellow is a difficult color since most yellow paints are quite transparent. Therefore, applying the base coat in white would make it easier to paint yellow. Furthermore, be extra patient when you paint on this color since mistakes are easier to see. With all the colors are applied, I go back to tidy up any mistakes I've made. Of course, I also apply a few coats of paint to fix the mistakes. When everything is tidied up, I use Avedon Black, thin down a little more with water and using a small brush, I paint it on the panel line except for the back side. Finally, using Nolan Oil, I apply shade to the gray area. Since there are so many details, applying shade as shown here will save you from painting each panel line. With all that done, the shield is fully painted. Whenever you hand paint, be very patient and let the paint dry thoroughly before applying another layer to get a nice coverage. Don't forget to thin down your paints with water to avoid brush marks. That is all for this demonstration. If you found this demonstration helpful, then leave a like. And if you have any thoughts, comments, or feedback, then leave them in the comment section below. This was Iro, and thank you for watching.